Hello guys, this is Clyde here, and I wanted to give you a really quick look at these uh, DMX decoders and uh, the pixels for the starter kit. Now, um, what I did whenever I uh, placed the order is I ordered these in, in sets of 100. And uh, over here in this box is the, the box that Ray shipped. Uh, here's here is the pack of 100 right there in the bag and uh, what I did was I just took them and I found you know I counted up 50 and uh, banded them up and then I come over here and just connected them up to the controllers now you can you can see that um, all of the pixels are doing different things okay um, <clears throat> They are running off of this 12 volt power supply over here, and I have only two wires going, and I don't know if you can see that, the, the black wire, the black wire and the white wire. The black is going to the green, and the white is going to the white. The white is the neutral, the black, and green is going to be my positive. And I just daisy chained the positives all the way across to all of these and then I daisy chained the negatives, the whites, all all the way across. And then since this controller is very versatile uh, and inside the box you're going to receive uh, a little paper manual that uh, is kind of easy to follow. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this. It might be a little hard. Um, but basically what you see here is a dip switch setting but it's not a dip switch setter like on these other regular controllers like what you're getting for the RGB starter kit they're not the same so be aware of that according to the directions in the manual and I also have the uh, PDF file online this is your dip switch setting see how it says LED sequences and you have IC types and in the manual it shows the IC type for um, for our pixels, this is a this is the, this is the right one. No, the other one wasn't. Um, we're running 2811 uh, pixels or strips, and they're 12 volt. So what we need to set this IC type to is number two and number four need to be in the down or in this case the on position. Um, when we set them to the on position, then what that means the two and the three indicates to the microprocessor that this is going to be running sequences for a 2811 chip that so those that way it's sending the right signal out to um, the right signal out to the pixels now if I were to go ahead and flip these up you'll see that these stop blinking right away there they're like what the hell you're not doing the right thing so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and flip those on and see how they all got bright. That changed something. And then we're going to change them again, and now they're working again. So this is the right configuration. You want to have number two and number four switch down. And then since these uh, RGBs are, are finicky, different manufacturers put boards together different ways. And one of the things that you need to be aware of is that Sometimes you're going to get RGBs that are not actual RGB. They're actually G, GRB or GBR or BGR or BRG. There's six different configurations. There's six different ways for manufacturers to set it up. Now, unfortunately, if you look at the pixel node, you're never going to know just by looking at the node whether it's RGB, GBR, or, or, or any of the combination. But what you can do is since the controller specifies what each mode is as you cycle through them you'll begin to see whenever you're on the first second third or fourth mode you'll be able to tell oh okay it's on the flashing part now that says it should be red but it's actually blue so then what you want to do is you want to flip your dip switches but since I've already figured out that these are RGB order then just have the number one tab or the number four tab I'm sorry the number five tab uh, on the dip switch setting set now, you'll notice I have I don't have any DMX coming into here. There's no DMX signal, there's no DMX in, and we're not sending DMX out. So, um, the DMX thing, that'll come later. But I wanted to give you a quick heads up so you could see these. Um, uh, 
during the burning process, I wanted uh, I I found this pixel right here. Kind of I, I could plug it back in, but uh, this pixel right here uh, was flashing in a way that was not con uh, congruent with the way it should have been, and. Um, so I, I realized that this here, this is a bad pixel. Now there's, I, I purchased extra so that I wouldn't have to deal with, with cutting out and splicing. And uh, one of the things that you need to be aware of is that pixels just, nobody's perfect, especially in China. The quality control uh, is very challenging at times. So you have to be prepared to have extra pixels on hand for any project because I guarantee that sometime one of your pixels or a couple of your pixels are going to go out. Now, since this one's not on, I want to I want to walk you through the board a little bit there. And this is kind of hard because I don't have a high def camera and this little flashy thing here is is uh kind of um uh, hard to see through. It's not clear. But if I I think that's as close as I can get. On this area of the pixel right here where where you see the solder points right at the bottom where the wire meets the board, you're going to see that there is up there where the red one is, you'll you'll be able to see a 12 volt. I don't know if you can see that at all, but it says 12 volt right above the solder point. Then the green one has this splice right down the center, so you can't really see it, but it actually says DI for data in. And then this blue wire, and you can you can't see it too well with with a camera, but um, oh, oh there we go. Um, it says ground G. Maybe maybe that will be a little little better for it. I don't I, I don't know if I can get a more clear picture or not. Um, there we go. There I think you can see G and D for ground. And then if we turn the pixel over, you can see that there that the pixel has a black chip on it. This is the IC chip that tells each individual pixel that it's its own unit versus a set of dumb RGBs uh, which tell us that uh, which do not have these chips specifically. So once again, uh, the blue wire it says GND there, and the red wire it says twelve. Uh, it says twelve volt, which this one, this side of the board is not as clear. And then the green one we know obviously is the data out. So th that's how the pixels are set up. Now there's also there's also, and I really wish you could see this. I wish I wish I could get a better well, let's see. Yeah, that's as good as I can get, as close as I can get it. The um, In this picture here, you're going to see a little arrow, right? Uh, there we go. There's a little arrow right beside the green wire on the board, and that arrow is pointing up. This side of the chip here, when the 12 volt is on the left, is the incoming side. And if I reverse it this way, there's two set of wire. The wire that comes out this side is the out. And there's actually little arrows right in the middle of that board pointing down, meaning the flow of electricity or the flow of the data should go in that manner. So this side right here would be the data inside. And then this side would be the data out. So if you if you connect your pixels up the incorrect way, like uh, like if you see these wires are pulled apart here, you wouldn't put this end into, into the controller here because it would be reversing the flow of the data for the WS2811s and the WS2801s. Um, so that's something I just wanted to go over real quick with you. A little bit of information and uh, I, I uh, uh, once again, uh, just kind of a brief overview of uh, how all of the uh, how they're all set up, they're all running, and that uh, you know that they're all working, and you're going to get good pixels because I wanted to make sure that you guys are all set up for the kits. Okay, all right, I'm going to go up and uh, upload the video and back outside to take down my display because it's like 45 degrees outside. So see you guys.